Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain about variants of syntax tree. Okay, so one of the most important question in final examinations. Okay, so first we will see the definition. In compiler, the structure of program represented using trees. Okay, so compiler structure of the program is represented using trees. The tree forms are called variants of syntax tree okay so remember what is the meaning of variants of syntax tree in compiler structure of program okay so structure of a program i represent using trees okay so this tree forms is called as variants of syntax tree ikkada em antunnadante compiler okay in compiler the structure of program so structure of program will be represented as trees okay so these tree forms are called as a various syntax tree forms okay so remember one of the most important point there are three types are there in syntax trees okay so three variants are there first one is called as parse tree second one is called as abstract syntax tree third one is called as dag dag means directed acyclic graph okay so let us discuss one by one what is mean by parse tree parse tree means it shows complete grammar okay so parse tree shows complete grammar And then it is used to parse context free languages one of the most important point please remember in parse tree en chestamandi it is used to parse context free language so what is in the context free language we are going to represent v t p s okay so v means variables t means terminals p means productions and s means starting symbol okay so sir kar chudandi let us have one example for parse tree so what is the example e tends to e plus t slash t t tends to t into f Slash f, f tends to e by id. So what is our input? Id plus id into id. So our input is id plus id into id. In parse tree, you need to include all grammar productions. Okay. So what is the first production they have given? First production is e tends to e plus t. So e tends to e plus t. Okay. So finally we should get id plus id into id. so e tends to e plus t okay so then i want to get id so first input as id so what you have to do again you know the value of e is t so that's why we have written e tends to t again you know the value of t is f again f is id so that's why e tends to t t tends to f f tends to id okay chudandi next so we received id in the left side id plus next right side so right side only t is there so when you have t what we need to write em ralandi t into f yes t into f so again what is t t ante malli f f ante id so final f is id now you can see the input value id plus id into id so this is called as what we say parse tree gurtu bet kovali chaala important point it shows complete grammar structure so please remember parse tree will show complete grammar structure okay so one of the most important point in parse tree will show complete grammar okay so second one second one what we have abstract syntax tree remember abstract syntax tree is the simplified form of parse tree so in parse tree we will include all the things and include some but when it comes to abstract tree it is a simplified form of parse tree it removes unwanted details okay next it is smaller than parse tree okay so abstract syntax tree ante entante simplified form of parse tree and removed unwanted details as well as it is smaller than parse tree chudandi uh, same grammar how to write abstract syntax tree we are going to remove all the unwanted details okay 
So what is our input? ID plus ID into ID. Okay. So let us write here. Our input value is ID plus ID into ID. Okay. So when there is a parse tree, you need to include grammar. But when there is an abstract syntax tree, just input value you manam name jayalan de. You write that tree. Okay. So what is the value first operator? Plus is there. Let us write left side plus ID. Okay. So then right side ID into ID is there. Okay. So ID into ID. Again, what we can write this ID into ID. So I can remove this ID, this ID. So we'll write a left side ID and right side ID. Okay. So this is called as what we say abstract syntax tree. So this is called as abstract syntax tree. Now we'll go for DAG. So what is mean by DAG? DAG is a directed acyclic graph. So no cycles is there in DAG. Remove redundant computation. Okay. So this is the third variant of syntax tree. Chuvandi, parse tree includes all the details. Abstract syntax tree is the simplified version of parse tree. In the DAG, we are going to represent without cycles. So as well as it is also called as uh, directed acyclic graph. Remove redundant computations. So if you see here, plus is there, id is there. Just I will write plus id as it is. Okay. So next. Already id and manna So one more operator is there. Let us say star. Okay. So one more operator is there. Let us say star. Okay. So star is there. Now, what I am going to do, you see, there is something called as ID star, and then ID star ID. Okay. So how to write this one? Yes. ID star, then ID. So what you can write? ID star ID. Okay. So ID star, ID star, then ID. Okay. So this is called as DAG directed acyclic graph. So these three are called as a variants of syntax tree. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you one and all.